All right, what's up to all the good Samaritans around the world out there? This is just going to be a quick video about another lie Philip has told in the past and how he's trying to pass that lie off again currently. So I guess you could say it's a rerun and his fans have all seen this movie before, but their life jackets and life preservers are probably strapped on too tight so they can't even remember it. Now the first clip we're going to watch is from Sunday, September 18th and he's crying about losing a thousand dollars because of trolls. Now this shocks me, Philip, but let's just see what we have got. And I really do need to help just to give you guys some perspective now, all right? Because now I have the data. Last month, I lost 300 members on this channel because of false copyright strikes. Okay, it's bullshit. It's fucked up that it happened. <clears throat> it never should have happened. YouTube should not allow people to break the law and issue false DMCA takedowns that you then have to clean up after the fact. But it happened, and because the channel was in jeopardy, people did not re-up their memberships, and people did not gift memberships like they usually would. I finally got the results, because now I can see how much I made last month and what I'm going to get paid within about a few days here from YouTube. Oh, uh, it's not good. I lost $1,000. I'm not exaggerating. It's about $1,000 less than what I would usually make. I'm, I'm, I've am i lost this month because of trolls. Okay? That's terrible. And I already have issues, you know, making ends meet with bills and the like. And now this month, all of a sudden, I, I'm making $1,000 less. The good news is it's not the end of the world or anything. Quote, last month, I lost 300 members on this channel because of false copyright strikes, unquote. He just says it, talks out of his ass, no proof of anything. It's ridiculous, man. And it's not like they were all gifted by two people and then his subhumans didn't want to pay money to renew the bullshit membership. He then says, quote, because the channel was in jeopardy, people did not re-up their memberships and people did not gift memberships like they usually would, unquote. The sense of entitlement on this fucking guy. People did not gift memberships like they usually would. What do you even say to him? You're not supposed to expect people to gift memberships. They do it because they're generous or because of some kind of special reason. Not because you, quote unquote, need help again. But then we get to the good part. He says he lost about $1,000 because of the false copyright strikes and because of the gifted memberships not being there. How can you lose $1,000 off of something that's not expected, you dumb fuck? So are you saying that these idiots are required to gift you a certain amount of subs every month? Like they have to do it, no questions asked? Because that's the only way you would be out $1,000. Quote, I already have issues making ends meet with bills and the like, unquote. And gee, Phil, I wonder what the like is there. I wonder what that could possibly be. And here's a solution. If you're a thousand dollars short this month, how about you tell your wife that supposedly works all the time to help chip in and cover those bills? Problem solved. But let's get into the next clip and the whole point of this video. Now, I'm sure most of you will remember this, but for those of you that don't, Let's just see what we have got. Now, the good news is, well, let me say, let me put it this way. This is not bad news, but we didn't hit the support goal. The support goal that I set up for the stream yesterday was set up to pay everything that I owe in the next couple of weeks so that I would be in a good position moving into the next month. But it was an incredible, incredible amount to raise in one day. I personally was, was hoping for the best, but didn't know what was going to happen. All right, the good news is, what I did raise helped tremendously. And the other good news is, overnight, as I was asleep, Twitch actually sent me a payment for my partner performance in April. It's not what I normally would make. In fact, I would tell you it's probably about roughly a third less than what I would usually make in a given month. Okay? All right, and that clip was originally from David Davidson. Shout out to the OG homie. The link to his new channel will be down in the description. Please resub to him. You know, he lost his old channel and I'd like to see him get back over a thousand subs. But that clip was from May of 2021 after DSP lost his Twitch partnership and he was holding a marathon because he kept claiming all month that he wasn't going to get paid by Twitch for his performance in April. Now, we all knew it was garbage and that he was going to get paid, but he had to feign distress, fear monger and do his regular bullshit. 
Now, he ended up raising $1,303 of a $3,000 goal that day. And it's not really important to this video, but it is what it is. He didn't even raise half of the goal he had set. But miraculously, overnight, Twitch ends up sending him his payment for his performance in April. Quote, it's not what I would normally make. In fact, I would tell you, it's probably about roughly a third less than what I would usually make in a given month, unquote. Now, there's other clips from that same video where he outright says his Twitch check was a third less than usual, but he's doing his typical word salad bullshit and trying to confuse people while he sits there and lies to them. And the clips end up taking forever, so I just used that one. Now, I covered this in a video back in January of this year where I broke down the entire month of May and compared it to his bank leaks. So we're going to take a look at a few of those screenshots and you're going to see how easily he just sits there and lies. But don't worry, guys, you should totally trust him this time when he tells you his YouTube check is a thousand dollars short this month. And as always, shout out to the Caucasian legend piece of piece for his tips tracker, one of the greatest inventions of the 20th century. Well, at least to me, it is. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first screenshot here. This is from May of 2021. OK, so it shows up on May 17th. And, you know, that may or may not be the date it showed up. Maybe it's a day late, whatever, whatever. But he gets paid by Twitch and the total was four thousand two hundred and forty one dollars. So, you know, he says uh, in the video that it's roughly a third less than what he usually gets and blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and take a look at the previous month of April. And well, let's see what we got here. On April 15th. He pulled in a measly $4,389 from Twitch. So, again, I need to get a piece of piece on the line here and get some math going. But clearly, that's a third of the previous total, right? Maybe, maybe not. But let's go to the next month. How about March of 2021? On the 15th, he gets a measly fucking pittance of $4,475 from Twitch again. So I had to pause the video and take off my shoes so I can do some counting with my numbers and toes. But Phil, that didn't end up being a third less than what you would normally get, you lying ass piece of shit. So the obvious question becomes, why should anyone believe you this time? You sit there and lie constantly, even when you don't need to. You did the marathon. You didn't hit the goal. Your Twitch check came in and combined it was enough to pay all your bills. But no. That's obviously not good enough. You have to sit there and feign distress because it's in your blood at this point and lie to people about how your Twitch check was a third less than it usually is. When in fact, it was almost the same exact amount as the previous two months. And here you are saying you really need the help again. Your YouTube payment was a thousand dollars less. You provide no proof as usual. And then when we call you on it, you say we're slandering you and making shit up when in reality you can't address any of this because it would just expose you even more and you'd be left looking stupider than you already do. And that's pretty damn hard to do, Philip, considering all these pictures going by. But don't worry about it, man. Don't take what we say seriously. Just reach over, grab your phone, turn on WWE champions. And why don't you drop a thousand dollars tonight, Phil? Because you can just come up with some new lie tomorrow about how the trolls fucked you over again and we actually cost you $2,000 this time. Because as you prove every single day, your brain dead, subhuman fans and whales are stupid enough to believe it anyways. And I love every minute of it, bay, bay. All right, let me give a couple of quick shout outs since I didn't do it on the last video. And we actually have a spoiler for To Catch a Pay Pig Part 23. So. Uh, first shout out to Kings 3411. You know, this is a, a very special shout out because back when I first started taking tips, I think it was like maybe to catch a pay pig seven or eight. Uh, a couple people had been asking me, hey, you know, would you be willing to accept something or, you know, just for your effort? And I declined a few times. But, you know, eventually I was like, yeah, you know what? Let me go ahead and make some money off what I'm doing here. And Kings was, if not the first, the second person to tip me. I mean, he was right there. So, you know, it's very special to me that he's still supporting, still watching, still commenting. And, you know, it just means a lot to me, man. So thank you very much, brother. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. 
uh, Mr. Gino, basically the same thing. You know, just always there, always supporting. It's my Dallas homie. I just talked to him in Discord the other day. You know, appreciate you always showing love, man. And thank you, Mr. Gino. The exact opposite, TJX, one of the worst human beings on the face of this earth. You know, right up there with blooper and just just pieces of shit, man. We need to get rid No, I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> just fucking with them. But shout out to TJX, you piece of garbage. Yosef, who is the exact opposite, a very good dude. You know, always see him showing up to streams and always supports those of us that take the time to make these videos and to restream because, you know, believe it or not, this shit does take time and effort, a lot more effort than what DSP puts into his bullshit. So thank you, Yosef. I appreciate you, homie. And then final one, Dominic, who I caught one of his streams the other night on Twitch and man, he's killing it for being so new to it and just getting the hang of it. So be sure to follow Dom on Twitch if you do have an account there. You know, most of us support each other in this community. That's not always the case. There's some little bitches in this community, but, you know, most of us do support each other. Uh, TCAP 23 is getting closer. I've already done the research on all three people. I just got to clip everything, edit it all down, record the audio, overlay, timestamp, etc. So it is getting closer. I did say that one of the participants was Kevin Bernstein. And now we are going to reveal participant number two. And that is a gentleman by the name of NDO103. And I have a very special surprise for NDO in that video. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. If I end up making another video before part 23 comes out, I'll go ahead and reveal who the third person is, but I'll give you a clue right now. And if someone gets it in the comment section, I'll go ahead and pin the comment. Now, the clue is this person is a twin brother of NDO103. That's all I'm going to say, and you can take that clue however you want it. We'll see what happens. Um, I will see y'all very soon for the next video. Thank you for riding with me, and as always, a less a fucking a go.